In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the Karura DAP. How does it actually work? How does it even look like? And what's actually missing because it is still in development as we know. But in today's video, I want to take a quick look at the roadmap first for Karura to see what's going on. How far did we get in within the live roadmap? And again, this is really great because in this, in this roadmap, we can see the different phases that they're going through and we can pretty much estimate how much longer we need to wait before the tokens are transferable because as you know, when the tokens become transferable, then exchanges are going to be able to list them because that's the whole point, right? For you to be able to transfer them in and out, to be able to trade them on exchanges or so on, right? So uh, we could see here so far that they've started the Karura distribution, like I've said in yesterday's video, and I have actually received my distribution or my contribution. Uh, but uh, I know some people in my community have not received it yet. So it's just in progress at the moment. As you can see, it's two out of three. So not everyone got it yet. When this is completed, and I do expect everyone to get it. If not, then do check with the team uh, on the Karura Telegram channel because that's the best place to get help or even Discord. If you join their Discord group, uh, that's also a really good place to get help. Now, uh, again, a link to this actual live roadmap is going to be in the description of the video if you want to check it out yourself, if you want to follow it. But uh, yeah, based on looking at this, I, I could say probably we, we might have like two or three weeks before the token transfers are enabled. So we still have some time to go here, as you can see, but they are moving quite fast if you think about it, because it only took just over a week, less than a week, actually, uh, since we're in this stage here. And now they finally started on the Karura distribution, which is what people are really pushing for in the community. But uh, next, let's actually look at their app. OK, so this is the app or the DAP because it is a decentralized application. After all, this is how it looks here. As you can see, it is still in testing at the moment, so it's not complete. Many of the features are not actually enabled, so we cannot actually use it. Uh, but we could have a general look to, to kind of get a feel of what it's going to be like. OK, and again, the link will be found in the description of this video apps.karura.network. Uh, so here you could see my polka.js wallet, uh, which is linked to the Karura account. Again, I, if you use one of those polka.js wallets, which is injected, and basically what you do is you share the same mnemonic passphrase across all your different live networks on Substrate. That means that you're going to get assigned a new public address for each of these live networks. And that just makes life easier. Now, it's not recommended. Uh, the Polkadot development team do recommend you create a unique account for each live network for security purposes. But... If you don't want to spend too much time trying to save all these mnemonic phrases, then you could just use one. For example, if you don't hold too many funds in uh, one specific wallet and just share it across, like, you know, if you don't have large amounts, uh, then uh, it's it's still quite safe if you think about it, right? Because someone needs to uncover that 12 word passphrase or 24 word if you did choose 24 word to make it even more secure, just like those ledgers, like those hardware wallets. So yeah, this is how it looks here. As you can see, it is a little bit different than the Akala one. I have done a tutorial on the Akala one. It should pop up on the top right hand corner of the screen. The Akala one is definitely more advanced as it stands. But the Karura one is going to be the one that you're going to be able to use very soon ahead of the Akala one, uh, because we still need to see the Polkadot parachain auctions happen and for Akala to win the bidding, the parachain auction in order to uh, launch. And then once they launch, they're going to be able to uh, launch the actual uh, DAP as well. And as per Dan Reeser, that's a couple of months away, right? So we're still a few months away before the Polkadot Parachain auction. So no rush. All eyes are on Kusama at the moment. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, these are the assets. This is what I've got available at the moment, the 199k or here. I have spent some on transaction fees because I've actually tried to make some transfers from one wallet to another because this is the wallet where I got an airdrop. And I was not able to make the transfer, obviously, because the transfers are not enabled, but I wanted to see if it actually works. So it basically just rolls over and over and over again, and it just doesn't do anything, but it does take your transaction fee. So that's why I said in previous videos, please don't do this like me, because uh, you will have to pay that transaction fee. So you'll just end up losing. It's a small amount, right? It's negligible, but it's there, right? So you're going to lose it. Uh, so yeah, you can see here, this is how it's going to be. You're going to have KSM, liquid KSM. And... Um, you can get loans here as well. So if you go to manage here, uh, you've got different uh, different options here. But again, like I said, unlike the Akala DAP, the Karura one is still not ready yet. They're likely working on these features. So they disable them just because people can actually use real Karura, right? Like live network Karura. This is live network Karura, not test network. So they've likely disabled this to prevent this until it's ready. 
uh, but you'll basically be able to select your collateral. One of these can be LKSM, uh, for example. So you could do that. Um, if you do decide to stake KSM on the Corura DAP, you generate LKSM, which is the liquid version. And uh, then that's, uh, that's great, right? Because you can use LKSM as collateral to borrow a USD and then you can borrow, use that AUSD to purchase more KSM, generate more liquid KSM and repeat the process. So it's one of these processes which uh, you could take advantage of. But again, there is a risk because of the leverage aspect. So if the price of KSM drops significantly, then you could be in trouble. Now that the price has gone down quite a lot, assuming we're not going to go into a bear market, and that, that may be a good strategy. I've actually seen an article on this, which was quite interesting. I'm going to share a link to that article, by the way, in the description of this video. It's worth a read. I'm not going to cover that in this video uh, because it would be too long. And the purpose of this video is mostly to talk about this app. Uh, there's also the swap feature here. So this is quite similar to the Akala one where you can just basically select uh, your Karura here. As you can see, I could select the max and then I could choose what I want to receive. Again, this is disabled, unfortunately, so we cannot see it. I am going to do a tutorial once this is live uh, just to show you step by step how it works. I'm actually going to provide some liquidity. I'm going to do some stuff right just so you could see it in action. But this is how it's going to look. Uh, adding liquidity is super simple, right? I mean, everything is here. Uh, just a click of a button you simply select token one select token two and then you add the liquidity and of course you'll only be able to add the liquidity for the tokens which are which have pairs right uh, you can't just do it for anything right again it's whichever you can swap between so there's going to be a group of tokens which you could swap between so then those are the ones that you can supply liquidity for get a share of those transaction fees which is awesome right uh, just like with uniswap just like with uh, pancake swap or anything like that right liquid staking again this is where you're going to get i don't know why they say liquid dot here it should really be liquid ksm again it is work in progress right so they're likely going to change this uh, but uh, yeah this is how it's going to be basically you can also pay a fee apparently here it says that the fee token is automatically selected based on your available balance so you could go to the setting to update it uh, if you want to do so basically what i think this means is that you can pay tokens in order uh, sorry, you can pay the fees in other types of tokens, not just in Karura, which I find that a bit odd. But the fact that they're allowing you to do that, that's awesome, right? If if that is the case, I'm not 100% sure. If you do know the real answer to this, please correct me. But this is my understanding based on reading this. Maybe it's, maybe it's wrong, right? Maybe it's not going to be the case. Uh, and this is where you can earn. So again, you can deposit um, KSM in order to get KOR. So this is basically how you're generating KOR, right? If you want to generate KOR without buying it from the exchanges, you could supply liquidity on the KOR KUSD pair uh, or on the KSM KUSD pair, LKSM KUSD pair, no matter what you do, you need that KUSD pair. So that means that no matter what you do, you're gonna need to take a loan or you're gonna need to swap some of your other crypto assets for KUSD in order to be able to supply liquidity in order to generate Karura tokens. So it may seem a bit confusing, but think of it like this. If you've got KSM, you can simply swap that KSM, some of that KSM for KUSD, and then you could supply an equal amount in terms of its monetary value of KSM and KUSD in order to receive KAOR. You're supplying liquidity. This means that people that are getting those loans can take advantage of the fact that there is that liquidity and also for swaps, right? So not only for a swapping but also for uh, for um, taking the loans for borrowing so yeah then there's the governance section here which we've seen for Akala this is how it looks this, these are the council seats here um, so yeah this is how it looks you've got the financial council the home council the technical committee the proposals are going to be here schedules and uh, so on so this is pretty much how it looks pretty straightforward as you can see here um, nothing complex to you. It's very similar to the Akala one. If you have watched my demo with Akala, this is actually more simple right now uh, because a lot of the features are disabled. But once they enable all these features, I expect it to be quite similar to Akala. And Dan Research did say that there's going to be some specific unique features that are going to be only on Karura and not on Akala, which is awesome, right? Because Karura is that experimental ground, the lab, DAP, you could think of it that way, uh, where you could deploy all these experiments, try them out, and then uh, deploy them to, to Akala if you think it's suitable, right? Or if the devs think it's suitable. That's it from today's video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. As always, drop me a comment telling me what you think of the Karura DAP. See you the next time. Bye-bye.